What is going on YouTube? It's Second Lieutenant Cade, also known as Alvin the Director. I'm back again with another video. For those who are new to the channel, I'm currently stationed up here at Fort Wainwright, Alaska. It's finally warm up here. And when people ask me, you know, what warm is in Alaska, it's finally above 40 degrees. Like, I literally was sweating outside today. I don't know if you can still see me sweating um, right now, but like, I started sweating outside today, which is like insane. And what's crazy is a month ago, we were sitting at negative 40 degrees. So this, that's like an 80 degree like difference in weather. And like, you'd be surprised by how quickly your body can change. Like, going from the extreme cold weather to just like, I guess, regular cold weather. And like, I'm from the deep south. So, I trust me, I know warm weather. So this is like completely out of my element. And like, we don't get below 40 that, that often and for that you know long period of time. So I think they said that this year was actually the third longest year that we had in Alaska, that the temperature has been less than 40 degrees. So, you know, I survived the winter here. Um, I got here midwinter and you know, I've been loving it ever since. So one of the questions that I get all the time is what I actually do as a signal officer in the Army. So currently um, I work you know in battalion and I work with the Essex shop so we have you know different tasks that you know vary from day to day and week to week and you know it's kind of hard when people ask me what you're going to be doing as a signal officer because you never really know. Signal is so large and there's so many different things that you can do with signal that you never know what you're gonna do. So I have friends and battle buddies that graduated Bullock, which is the basic officer leadership course in Fort Gordon, Georgia. And they're doing completely different things at their units than I'm doing here. So um, what we do basically is just making sure that all the comms in the battalion are up and running. And that can vary from you know, so many different things. It's all pretty much under the realm of, you know, communications and IT. However, again, your mission could change from day to day, from week to week, from month to month, and it all depends on what your um, particular mission is um, at that particular time. Now, with that being said, what I'm doing right now complete be completely different than what I'd be doing if I was on a deployment, or what I'd be doing if we were getting back from a deployment, or what we'd be doing if we were prepping for a deployment. So. There's so many different things that you can do with Signal that it's just extremely broad. So it's kind of hard to really answer the question on what you'd be doing as a Signal officer. Just know it's going to deal with communication, it's going to deal with some sort of IT, and just making sure that the folks at the top can communicate with the folks at the bottom and um, vice versa. Um, also, depending on what type of unit you're in is going to determine what kind of job that you'll be doing as a Signal officer. So. Um, here in Alaska is completely different than you know someone stationed at like JBLM or someone stationed at Fort Bragg or someone stationed at like Fort Polk. So your job can just vary depending on like what duty station you're at, what type of unit you're in, and again what type of mission is going on. But you will be supporting the um, battalion or the brigade or whatever um, realm you're in with all the communications and everything that falls under there. So. My job can be extremely, extremely easy, or it can be extremely difficult depending on what we're doing. And, um, you know, that can be, you know, kind of stressful at times because, like, you never really know what to expect whenever you come into work the next day. But that's also one of the challenges that I love as a signal officer because I get to tackle a bunch of different problems. And if everything is going good, it looks great on me and my team. And if things go south, then, you know, you have to be, you know, as an officer responsible for everything that you know, happens whether it's good or bad. So, you know, you gotta roll with the punches and just keep it moving. Um, with Signal, you can get a bunch of different certifications like Sec Plus, Net Plus. There's so many different courses that you can get that can really set you up for success once you get outside of the Army. And that's not just with being a Signal officer, but that's just being in Signal in general. You can get so many different certifications and things like that that can transfer over to the civilian sector. And that's everything that the Army will pay for. They'll give you all the tools and all the resources that you need in order to succeed at um, being a, a great signal soldier or a signal officer. And that's something that to me is like really, really awesome. Um, you know, I talked to a bunch of friends that are in other places and, you know, I'm, I'm grateful because I'm in a, a great supportive um, unit and with our signal company, like we're doing a lot of great things like in the, in the battalion. And I mean, it's just awesome just being um, around a bunch of, you know, signal soldiers that you know, will push you and they'll teach you everything, you know, from 
a beginner's level and uh, like it's just it's an amazing feeling but you know also have battle buddies who don't have that same support so they're kind of trying to figure everything out on their own but at the same time since signal is so large there's so many different groups and things like that that you can network with and I can reach out to someone at a completely different unit and ask them a question and it'll help our mission here at Fort Wainwright and vice versa. So we're able to kind of like, you know, help each other out and, and things like that, which is which is awesome, you know? So that's pretty much what I do in a nutshell. I know it's kind of hard for me to go into detail about what the specifics are because with signal and communications, a lot of stuff that we do is classified, so I can't really share that. But just know that it's a, it's a field that really can set you up for success in the civilian world. I don't know if I'm gonna stick with, you know, Signal once I get out, whenever I do decide to get out. Um, but right now in the Army, I plan on making a career out of this thing and, you know, I'm just getting started and I look forward to what the Army has to offer. So, if you have any questions or anything like that, drop them in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and if you wanna hear anything else, you want me to tackle any other issues or I'm answering any specific questions, I'd be happy to do that. You can follow me on Instagram, at Alvin the Director. And again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'm Alvin the Director, also known as Second Lieutenant Cade, and I'm out.